Let's create this simple part using onshape extrude feature. If you look at the dimensions, these are in millimeters unit, so you have to first check workspace unit and make sure that it is in millimeters. There are many, many different ways you can construct a part. So if you look at the isometric view, we want to build a part so that the final orientation is like this, as shown. So you have to make a plan which one you want to choose for the sketch and how you draw it. The first way I can do is to create this L-shaped plate, the bottom plate first, and then make this vertical wall. So in order to do that, I need to select the top reference plane as my sketching plane and draw the sketch, this L-shape, and extrude it up to create this plate. And then we'll add the vertical wall here. So let's create a sketch using the top plane. So select the top plane, select the sketch, and you want to look at normal to the sketching plane. And you have to remember what orientation I need to draw. So this horizontal line is the front plane that I'm looking from the top. And this vertical line is the right plane that I'm looking down. Your L shape should look like this. I'm going to use the line command and draw the shape. I am focusing on the shape here not the detail size. I need to add the geometric conditions. So here, vertical, horizontal, everything is fine, looks fine. And then I need to add dimensions for the size. This corresponds to this width, 120, or should I say depth? 120 millimeters. And everything scales up. Press F key to fit screen. And overall width is 120. So select this line, that line, 120. Oops. And this 60. So again, 60. Everything is fully constrained. Let's check whether sketch orientation is correct. And here's the asymmetric view. Looks like it's correctly oriented. So now I exit from the sketch. Now click on the extrude feature. All right. And then you need to select which sketch area you want to extrude. If I move my cursor over this area, it highlights. As I click on it, it shows a preview. So what's the height of this one? It doesn't show the dimension, but it says its thickness is 15. So we need to extrude by 15 millimeters. And let's blind, say OK, and then we have the plate. Now we need to construct the back plate here. What you can do is either you can use the front plane or you can use the back face for sketching. So let's use the back face. So select the back face and create a sketch on that back face. And again, we need to look at normal to the back face. We need to draw the shape. I'm just drawing, focusing the shape, not the exact size. Now we need to check the geometric constraints, vertical constraint. Now these two lines has to be aligned. So I'll add coincident. 
Now we need to add dimensions here. We have 40 from one side. need to extrude that, select the sketch region and we need to flip the direction so we click on this arrowhead and again thickness is 15 now we need to select add because they need to be merged together so we have the final orientation same as this picture here 